Travis Thomas here, and today's a big day. I'm going to be uh, working hard to get this 12-gallon bookshelf aquarium up and running, fully aquascaped, planted, fish and everything, all today. Because I'm actually moving a low-tech planted tank that I have, moving everything over to this 12-gallon system. I got my hair up, so it's out of my face. So while I'm working on everything, I'm not constantly moving it. Oh, it's going to be it's going to be an awesome day. It's going to be arduous. It's going to be tough, and I'll show you why. So to start off, I've got the low-tech tank here. Um, it's not in the greatest shape right now. Reason being, uh, I started disassembling the tank probably a week ago. I removed the large rock uh, from this side of the tank, all of the rock from this side of the tank. And in the process of removing all that maple leaf rock, I kind of... Ah, released a buttload of nutrients. And all of those nutrients uh, wreaked havoc on the tank in the form of algae. Uh, there's just a ton of algae everywhere. So I'm gonna have to deal with all of that. Uh, so the process for this tank is gonna go uh, a little something like this. I'm going to be draining the water um, into a five gallon pail, uh, taking all of that clean water clean water. It's going to be the cleanest water that comes out of the tank. Uh, getting the fish into there, um, putting a aerator on the bucket so the fish have some water circulation. I may even just throw the aqua clear on the edge of the bucket. And then I'm going to be pulling all the plants out very carefully, uprooting them. Uh, I'll be trimming all the roots off. I'll be putting them in the wash tub in my maintenance room and then spraying them all down with peroxide uh, in an effort to get rid of all that algae. I'll then comb over them for eggs, from snails or anything like that. I don't want to transfer anything in a new system if I can avoid it. Uh, then it's just a matter of gravel vacuuming all of the substrate and rinsing it out thoroughly because I'm reusing all of that beautiful uh, Seachem fluorite over in the new tank on the left side here. So everything from this pile of rocks over is going to be that substrate being moved over for a number of reasons. Uh, one big reason is I'm not going to waste a bunch of really decent plant substrate. I don't see a reason to. There's already going to be a ton of beneficial bacteria in that substrate, which is not only good for the roots of the plants, but also just for the sake of the aquarium. I do have some extra biomedia I'm going to be throwing in the CJ uh, canister underneath to help jumpstart it. Um, but essentially, if I do things right here, there isn't going to be any cycle. It's just going to be a matter of moving one uh, basically tank full of livestock that's already established into a new glass box. This is gonna to be tough. It's gonna to take me probably all day. I'm going to, going to film as much of it as I absolutely can, uh, but I don't wanna go absolutely crazy trying to film everything because then it's gonna take a really long time. So I don't know how this video is gonna go. This might be kind of a time-lapse type deal, montage, I'm not quite sure, but I'm gonna get started. So uh, here we go, wish me luck. <laughs> just soup now but all the plants are out that's all the s repens uh, i believe that is cryptocorn wend tie this is uh, another crypt that i can't remember and i believe that is crispitulata i'm probably butchering all these names but that's okay a uh, long way to go before they're going to be ready lots of root trimming to do have to clean up all that algae spray them down but that's all going to go next so into the basin that's what I'm aiming to do. Kind of just get them cleaned up, make sure there's no algae on them, I'm putting them aside, and then I'm going to be spraying them all with a little bit of peroxide. Oh man, okay, so the uh, tall wispy stuff is done, but I still have to do all of those plants. And it's already been, I don't know, like 20 minutes. 
But hey, this is the price I pay for clean plants. Okay, so I've got everything cleaned up. Uh, this is all of the um, Star Regine Repens uh, all divided up and um, I've already sprayed it with uh, some peroxide. I'm gonna rinse that off shortly. I also have my various other crips already divided and in bags with just a little bit of moisture so they don't dry out. I'm keeping them like this for now because it's gonna take some time to uh, get everything else prepped and clean up the substrate and stuff and I don't want these plants drying out in the meantime. I also, after dividing everything, pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to fit all of these plants. Um, and I might actually make some changes. So I actually uh, got in touch with Paul at Aquirica. I'm gonna see if I can trade some of these plants in and maybe swap them out for something else. And uh, we'll go from there. But next up, let's go deal with that substrate. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna fill the tank back up with water, probably close to the top. And then I'm going to uh, just use a gravel siphon and a pail to suck out as much of the gunk that is in this as absolutely possible before I start sifting it out of the tank and then rinsing it out. Um, I wanna do it that way so I can, in the process of removing things, get out as much root as possible if there's any root clumps that are left, which I'm sure there are gonna be. And ultimately, uh, I have to get the rest of the water out of the tank anyway, and if I'm gonna do it, I might as well take that opportunity to also try to clean the gravel a bit so that when I'm done cleaning it, it can go directly into the new display and we can work on the aquascape a little bit before we get back to planting and adding those fish. So here we go. All right, so now I'm going to get all of this substrate from in here into a bucket and drag it to the maintenance room where I can use that sieve, 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 whatever. I'm gonna sift through it using that metal colander thing uh, and try to clean it up as best I can so that I can reuse it. And then we're gonna start scaping, I think. So, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, actually take the driftwood out. I'm gonna leave this main piece on the side here that goes into the rocks, because those rocks are staying, but I'm gonna take the driftwood out. I'm gonna start filling this side up with substrate as I rinse it, and, huh, yes, we're getting there. It's coming along. Let's do this. <laughs> Right, so the substrate's done on the left side of the tank and now I'm just working on the right side. So on this side of the tank I've aquascaped with rocks that I've actually collected from my brook, boiled and scrubbed them so they're nice and clean. I've actually got a uh, gravel slash sand slash rock mix from the uh, bed of that brook as well that I'm gonna be using to fill in this side of the tank. So I'm just gonna go grab that and start filling it in. <music> Where are we at? So far, we've got all of the substrate in for the plants on the planted side. I've got all of the uh, substrate in. I've actually placed all the wood back in the tank the way it was. The only real difference is I, I decided not to attach everything. That way, this piece of wood is gonna be easy to move around so I can plant around it very easily instead of um, having a rough time trying to sneak plants in in the substrate that way. I can also kind of tilt it out of the way and plant in between these two pieces of wood just so the foliage kind of sticks through the crevices there. Overall, super, super happy with that. So really the next thing that's on the agenda here is to uh, kind of start getting the plants ready. So I'm gonna have the Starogene Repens uh, mostly in the front with one of the um, uh, crypts kind of spackled throughout. I'm gonna have maybe one or two of the big crypts. I think I'm gonna trade the rest in. And then all the small crypts, those long, tall, wispy ones I'm gonna have around the uh, back of the tank there. Um, and yeah, I just wanna create that nice like kind of flowy river look. Funny enough, I've got the flow on the other side of the tank, but I am going to add a power head on this side of the tank too to assist with flow, just like I had on the last tank. Now it is time to go get all those plants. I'm also adding just a tiny bit of uh, RO water 
So first up, I'm going to be planting the Crypt Crispatula uh, Balance, I believe this is. Um, and we're going to be putting it at the back, right there to uh, behind the driftwood to try to create that kind of wispiness. So it's um, going to be our background plant, but still very airy. I still want to be able to see through it. got this neatly divided crypt wentai. Um, I'm definitely not going to be using all of this. In fact, I'm probably going to use one or two of the smaller ones and allow it to grow in again. This will probably be the largest uh, plant in the aquascape, so I don't want to use too much of it, uh, unless it's just going to basically be very overpowering and take up most of the space. I think I'm probably going to use a couple of them and that's it. So let's get to it. plant that I've been humming and hawing about and that is the uh, star gene rep pens and I think I'm gonna go for it I think I'm gonna do what I set out to do originally and uh, have it as the foreground plant there's just enough space in the foreground here for me to get a, a decent amount in so I'm gonna give that a shot and see what it ends up looking like So we are all planted. I'm pretty satisfied with this, especially because I'm using a bunch of cuttings, uh, some of which were awesome. Uh, the Styrogene Repens, not the greatest, but workable. Kind of got to be a little bit careful with it, especially since it is not the easiest plant to work with in my experience personally. But we are ready to flood this tank. Oh yes. So I'm going to be filling it about halfway. Then I'm going to be getting the uh, fish who have been patiently waiting in the bucket over here. They're going to be going in shortly after with all of their water. And then I will finish flooding it the rest of the way and getting everything running. Almost there. Mm -hmm. 